Welcome. This is a quick update on Kaylee graphs. I'm a little bit subdued. I have uh, had a bike accident <coughs> today and I don't know how long I can talk. But there are four things I want to talk about. First of all, uh, things I've learned uh, last week uh, about Kaylee graphs. It's a very exciting topic. Kaylee graphs are a beautiful connection between algebra and geometry. And uh, a Cayley graph is defined if you give a generating set. And I always assume, uh, like usual, that the generating set is invariant under taking inverses so that you have undirected graphs. So this is an example of a Cayley graph of the alternating group. And uh, so you have different generators. And uh, in the case of the cyclic graph, this is all the dihedral graph. This is relatively simple. In the case of the symmetric group, dihedral group, in the case of the symmetric group, you can do that with two generators, just a whole cycle and also a transposition. This generates the whole uh, group. Another interesting thing is the free group, which for even degree produces bete, the bete lattice, which is a, a for finite, actually for finite, for finite graphs is called the Cayley tree. So I think, but uh, I made some progress here also with the free group. The free group is not natural in the sense which we have defined, right? The group is natural if it is coming from a metric space in a unique way. And uh, here we also, like in Z, which is a special case, which is the uh, free group with one generator, uh, like in Z, you have to go to the dihedral version. So there is a dihedral version of the free group, so uh, which is the dihedral, and then it becomes becomes natural. So that's one of the things I've learned. And then uh, I stumbled upon the notion of regular graphical regular representations, which is a, an, an old classic topic. It has been uh, introduced by Sabidusi, I think first in the 50s, and uh, it's part of representation theory. Uh, and uh, you, 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 are, you find if, if the Cayley graph has an automorphism group, which is equal to the group, then you call this a graph, graphical regular representation of the, of the group. And uh, you can then do that and go to the, to the group ring, or you can go and, and, and write on permutation matrices, which then uh, produce a, a representation in the, in the classical sense. So, uh, but just one observation is that it's not the same thing the natural, but it's related. So if you have a graphical rep regular representation for a group, then the group is natural. We have seen that last time. The group has to be a part of the automorphism group, uh, but uh, it, it needs to be have at least the automorphism group inside. So uh, that's not the same thing. Like a, a complete graph with prime number of elements is natural because there's just one, uh, one, one group structure on it. Well, the group with p element, but p is prime, is uh, the cyclic group with p prime is natural because there is only uh, I mean there's only one group of that uh, of that order and so you can for example take the the complete graph and uh, also an observation which is quite obvious I mean if you have a metric space finite metric space which produces the group and uh, so then the the, the group uh, the, the distances are preserved and so you can actually you can just write down a weighted Cayley graph trivially because you can just take the whole group as the generating set. So that's that's allowed. Nobody uh, forbids you to do that. And then you can put the weights, which are just the distances, instead of forcing the, the, the geodesic distance. <coughs> so that's one of the things. A, a, a large uh, thing, if you look in the literature, just enormous uh, amount has been written about this graphical regular representation. And so it's part of uh, representation theory of finite finite groups. And then I also learned about the zigzag product because I was interested in the Rubik cube. I was interested, is the Rubik cube natural? And for that, what you need is a, you need to understand whether if you take two uh, semi-regular products, so we talked about these semi-regular semi products uh, uh, last, last time, these semi-regular products need a metric space, which is which makes them natural. And actually there is such a product and it uh, has been produced, uh, uh, introduced relatively late in the context of expander graphs by uh, 
So this is, uh, this is uh, it has been introduced in 2000. I think Avi Wittgenson was also there in the introduction. So there, there were other papers, but this is actually the paper which I, uh, also a conference paper, which I'm referring to where this is a theorem, which says that the uh, observation, which says that you can actually build a product just adapted to the semi, to a semi-regular product. And remember, semi-regular product is given by just on the base. The base is the H, uh, and so this is the the H is is actually the the G over N. N is the normal group. It's kind of nice that normal comes here in two different ways. I like to think about the base as the the base, like the manifold, and the uh, N, the normal subgroup, as a fiber, which is normal <laughs> to it. And this notation here really kind of also illustrates the illustrates the, the normal part, right? So we have this normal normal sign here. So uh, uh, what, what happens is you can adapt the, the, the direct product. So the direct product is a special case if the base acts trivially on the fibers. So in general, the base acts in a non-trivial way on the fibers so by conjugation. And uh, what you can do is you can just uh, uh, you can build a Cayley graph, you build a generating set, and what you do is you have this zigzag, so that's why it's called zigzag uh, thing. So you, what you have to encode is the, the thing that you have, uh, uh, if you have one, uh, a multiplication with one uh, on, on one fiber, and then you, you do a multiplication, uh, and then you do a multiplication here on the base, then this is, this is, a, this is a conjugated, uh, uh, multiplication here. So there's a there's an automorphism, the S acts as an automorphism on the on the normal group. So then you have kind of just you you you, you build these generators. And uh, so that's that's quite interesting and and then uh, one of the things also I mean the if you look at the alternating group, maybe I have a picture here of the alternating group of the graph the Cayley graph of the of an alternating group or symmetric group, they are very beautiful and classical related to uh, platonic solids, and uh, what happens is that uh, the, the, like here, for example, this is the symmetric group, the symmetric group with uh, n elements that you can write down the Cayley graph uh, with two generators, and if you just take the weights of the distances, different, kind of not, not rationally, non, not, 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 not related, then you have a you have a you have a natural metric space which generates has to generate the the, the group. There is no other group structure because it has to map the generators into it themselves. And so, so I still to think about this a little bit more. But uh, pretty sure S N and A N are all natural. <clears throat> and then uh, also this is natural, so these are direct products. And uh, if you ha if you establish that semi-regular products of natural finite groups are natural, which I think is is kind of just you can do that with this uh, with this zigzag uh, product, then uh, also the the Rubik cube, which is which has as a base this uh, uh, product of alternating groups, you have the uh, these are the, these are the vertices and these are the edges and these are the the cube rotations uh, three possibilities here and these are the edge rotations so this is kind of like the, the gauge uh, group which you have over every every point in that in that fiber bundle so Rubik's cube is a fiber bundle with with a with a, with a nice base group and uh, the, the fibers are finite abelian even so the group is non abelian the fibers are the fibers are uh, 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 abelian so I think that's it I'm really uh, uh, sad that I had this uh, bike accident, but I was lucky that I did not, that this, it was not, not, not worse because I fell on the street with a fixie bike. I changed my bike to a fixie bike. And what it means is that you are linked, your pedal is linked now to the, so you cannot, there's no free wheel uh, anymore. And uh, so I have to pedal too fast. I get got out of sync and I, I fell on the street. Fortunately, there was no car directly behind me and uh, but it uh, uh, I might have to check it out what happens I think he has some ribs bruised and uh, the, the other things are not that bad 
So I hope this is going. Uh, but I'm sad because tomorrow would have been a uh, half marathon, which I was really looking forward to, the Cambridge half marathon. And so I'm kind of uh, sad that I probably cannot run there. But that's it for today. I have to wrap it up. I'm getting home. <clears throat> Thank you.